Lord Jesus, we bless your name, Father. Amen. We bless your name. Yes, Lord. Father, we glorify you and we lift you up. Hallelujah. Lord, because without you, we are nothing. And this morning, oh Lord God, we glorify you with yes, all Lord. that you have given unto us, Father. Hallelujah. That we, oh Lord God, could walk in your righteousness yes, Lord. and your holiness, Father. Yes, Lord. Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for the breath that you have given unto us, oh Lord. Yes, that Lord. We can that you can move faster. We thank you, Lord, for the health and the strength, Father. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and for your yes, mercy, Lord. Lord. We thank you, Lord, God, for your provision that you have given us, Father. Hallelujah. We worship and we glorify you. Yes, Lord. We bless your name, Father. We adore you. Yes, Lord. As we lift up your name, Father, continue, Lord, to pour out your anointing, Lord, for all flesh, Father. Yes, Lord. That we, O oh God, could walk, Lord, in purity and in holiness, Father. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, to be truthful in everything that we do. Teach us, O oh Lord, God, to be wise, Father. In every decision that we make, Father. Teach us, O oh Lord God, how to be strong, O oh God, unmovable, Father. Teach us, O oh Lord God, how to continue how to lift up, O oh Lord, yes, your Lord. name, Hallelujah. Father, and to drive back the walkers, O oh God, of darkness, Father. Yes, Lord. Continue, Lord Jesus, Lord, to open our eyes, O oh Lord, unto righteousness, O oh Lord. Yeah. That we will not sin against you, Lord. Yes, we Lord. bless your name. We say, oh God, glorify yourself in us, so oh Lord, Jesus. that we humble ourselves before you. Yes. Remove, oh Lord God, every stumbling block that the enemy, oh Lord, may put, oh God, in our pathway, Father. Lord. And in our future, Lord, we ask yes. you, oh Lord God, touch, oh Lord, touch us, oh Lord, from wherever we may be at this present moment, Father. Those that are sick, oh Lord, Sorry. touch, oh God, your people. Man. Those, oh Lord, that are weak, oh God, we pray that you touch them, Father. Yes, Lord. Those, oh Lord, that wake up this morning, oh God, and don't have a direction, oh Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus that you may touch them, Father. Restore God's strength unto those that are weak, Father. Those, oh Lord, that are going through mourning, Father, God, I pray that you will comfort them, oh Lord, at this present moment, oh Lord. And as we lift up your name, Father, pour out, O oh God, your anointing to break yokes, Father, and yes, destroy fetters from off of our lives, yes, Father. Yes, that the enemy may try not to put us, O Lord, in bondage, but I pray in the name of Jesus that we will stand up. Father, stand up, O oh God, and fight against the wiles of the enemy. Yes, and every fight we do that, Father, God, that the enemy Lord, may shut against us. Yes, Father, we praise you. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. We say, God, glory be to your name. Continue Lord, to let, O oh God, your glory manifest your in our Lord, lives, Father. Remove, O oh God, every stoniness from our hearts That's as we right. reach out into praise and supplication, Hallelujah. Father. We reach out, O Lord, to glorify you. Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Those that are weak, God is your strength this Hallelujah. morning. Those that are blind, spiritually and physically, remember that God is the healer. Those that are being battered and bruised, Father, yes, Lord. Lord God, I pray that you remember them. Every man, Lord, that they will not give up. Hallelujah. That the Lord, men and women out there, those that are struggling, Jesus. remember that God sees everything that you are going through. Yes, Just Lord. put your trust in the Lord as He continues to lead you in the path of righteousness. Yes, I'm asking you, Lord, this morning, reach out your arms, Father God, pull out those that the enemy may have in cages, oh Lord, have them in pit, Father, Lord, pull them out. That they will see, oh God, that you still love them. Yes, that you still died on the cross, oh Lord, for each and every one of us, Father. Remove, oh God, every separation from our lives, yes, oh Lord. As we worship you. As we worship you, Father. As we worship you. Let, oh God, your spirit fill us. Fill us, oh Lord, God. And open our understanding, oh Lord. As we glorify you, I pray in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Apostle Lord God, to stand upon every word that proceed out of your mouth. That we, O oh God, will not doubt you, Lord God, because you are the Alpha and the Amigo. The beginning and the end. You are the first and the last. Mm -hmm. You are the kings of kings, Father. Mm -hmm. You are the God that created everything alone. Mm -hmm. And, O oh God, you know the hearts of men, O oh Lord, that it is desperately wicked. 
But oh God, you said those that turn away from the evil and look, oh God, upon you, Lord, you are there to help. You are there to lift up, Father. You are there, God, to glorify yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we bless you. We bless you. We Hallelujah. bless you. We bless you. Yes, Lord. We bless you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We said, oh God, have your way. Yes, Lord. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be bless to your Lord. name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We praise you. We praise you. Yes, Lord. And let me just say a special good morning. You are so, tuning to Logos Lower Tri Ministry. We will pray. We will intercede for our nation. We will intercede for the family. So, and those that need prayer, I want to say good morning to you. Morning. And just remember that God is the beginning and the end of our lives. Yes, God is the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. And God is there to, eat, to teach and to help and to direct all of us that we will continue to live an everlasting life. Yes, Lord. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. I want to say this morning the Lord has given us a scripture and he's made it clear unto the nation. And those who are living a life without hope, remember that every single day that you live on this face of this earth, we have to give an account for it. So let us live a life where God is being glorified. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, turn to God and he will help you with every situation that you are going through. Because the devil is here to sift out and to destroy all of us. God is the one who is there to protect us. And the Lord is say, read Psalms chapter 1 to this nation. And it goes on to say, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in the law do he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruits in a season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor the sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord made the ways of the righteous, but the ways of the ungodly shall perish. Let us pray and declare over this nation. Father, every man and every woman, every boy and every girl father that you have raised up, O oh Lord, from generation to generation, Lord. that is walking in your righteousness, Father, you said, O oh God, that the ways, Father, shall be blessed. Mm. And even so, Lord, that you direct them, O oh God, by the ways of your Holy Spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus that they do not, O oh God, stand in the ways of sinners. Father, don't let, O oh God, the righteousness, O oh God, turn, O oh God, unto evil. That they stand, O oh God, in the ways of sinners, where men, O oh God, look unto them as evil workers and evil doers in the name of Jesus. I pray that no demon, O oh God, will take control over them by no subtle way, whereby the righteousness, O oh God, of the life departed, O oh God, of the evil practice. I pray right now that every individual, O oh Lord, that do not put a step, O oh God, and a confidence, Father, and a trust, O oh God, in ungodly men that do not know the law of the Lord and the establishment, O oh God, of your righteousness, that, O oh God, they will not lead the children of Israel, Father God, and the children of this nation. I lift up every individual, Father, that those who Lord have 
Those that are set up in high places that is ruling on God, your people, whereby they are ungodly fallen. You said to God that you will drive them out and they will not stand on God in the way of God of the righteous, not even in the congregation of God. But this morning, I pray God for every scorn of Father, mm. that oh God, your people will not sit in the seat of God of a scornful Father, whereby God they oppose oh God the nation father whereby God is stand against oh God those in authority father I come against oh God every mindset that your people God may try to develop oh God in this nation fighting against those in authority that you have set up I pull out every negative intention father of the enemy every seed that may sow in the heart father that may try to germinate in time and time oh God Continue, remove, oh God, every structure that the enemy may set up yes, in the eyes and the minds, oh God, of your people. But I lift up every individual that give birth, oh God, to children, that the children, Father God, will stand up for righteousness and for holiness, oh Lord, yes, that they will not be carried away, oh God, by the deceitfulness of men. Yes, Father, and even so as they stand, let your blessing, oh God, continue to flow upon them. That Everything that is set the earth and the mind to do, it shall be prosperous and they shall accomplish it, Father. I come against every demon that fight against oh God, the future of this nation. Father God, the establishment of oh God of the laws of oh God of this land. Every demon that rise up, oh God, to bring oh God strong oaths and control over this nation, Father, where God, our men, oh God, is coming out of the subjection of demonic practice. I break every strong oaths at this present moment. I pray, oh God, that your men, oh Lord, of this nation will turn from the evil and be in the congregation of the righteous, Father. Yeah. Rebuke, oh God, every devour, oh Lord, that may set up, oh God, the thief the wealth, still oh God the finance of God, still oh God the dreams and the accomplishment of God. I buy every stronghold at this present moment alone. And I pray that your righteousness will continue on to be oh God established in this nation. That mighty men will raise up, men of God of valor, men of God to fight oh God yes. and take down oh God every high place that the enemy is trying to set up. That's right. That, oh God, will have control over this nation yes, by demonic forces, Father. I pull down, oh God, every structure, every structure in the name of Jesus, Jesus oh Lord, yes, Lord, and let your way be done. Hallelujah. Let, oh God, prophets, priests, oh God, yes, men, oh God, with righteousness, oh God, will raise up, oh God, in this nation, yes, and that your name will be glorified, yes, and that your will be done. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, in our lives, oh Lord, yes, Lord. in Jesus' name, yes, Lord. in Jesus' name, Father, Hallelujah. in Jesus' name, in Hallelujah. Jesus' name, Lord Hallelujah. Jesus, we bless you. the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Blessed Jesus. be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Lord, bless Father. the Lord this morning. If you are joining us for the first time, good morning to you and welcome to the ministry of Logos Laura Tri Ministries, prayer and intercession for our nation, the Caribbean kingdoms, women, children, and our neighbors. Taken from Second Chronicles 7, 14 to 15. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Yes, Blessed be the name of the Lord this morning. The time is now and the awakening is here. Yes, this Lord. is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And our reading was taken from Psalm 1. And I'm going to just share on the, the same psalm that was shared this morning and ministered unto by Minister Isaac. The key to being called blessed, and the topic is, blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel 
of the ungodly. Psalm 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. That's the name of the Lord this morning. Let us examine the scripture verse by verse. And verse 1 is taken into three parts. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. What is the counsel of the ungodly? What is the counsel of the ungodly? Amen. A counsel is a body of people who gather regularly to give advice or communicate things they want someone or many to follow, or to be led, guided, or walk in or practice. Ungodly counsel is taking advice from men who do not walk in the way of the Lord. Therefore, taking counsel from such would lead to the opposite of being blessed or called blessed. Their advice is of the flesh and is carnally minded. It is deadly to the spirit of those who take counsel from the ungodly. The ungodly are men who do not believe in God nor walk in the ways of godliness, they are men without God in this world. With possessions, with, pos with positions and teaching and philosophy and vain deceit and putting down of godliness and all that is godly in this world. A council is an advisory, a body of people set up in a community or agency or colony to go a go-to body of counselors to seek advice by actively listening, by actively listening, adhering, and carrying out by working, by working in that council Amen. within. The second part of verse 1 says, No standard in the way of sinners. No standard in the way of sinners, meaning... The way of sinners are those who follow after carnal nature of man's reasoning and understanding, self-will, self-satisfaction of the heart. It is a direction of advice man takes without God. Standing in the way of sinners is living without God in this generation. It says that there is no God. We are responsible for our own life. It is a belief that we can live without God, excel in greatness without God's help or acknowledgement. Amen. Standing in the way of sinners is adopting the way of ungodliness in exchange for the law of man's way of ungodliness by our own natural abilities, capabilities, and practices. A cons and counsel we take away from a conversation by advisory, compulsory, randomly, and regularly. It is a philosophy in itself, righteousness, in, in itself righteousness, and no condemnation of that which we allow by acceptance and moral obligation and statutory declarations by law. Nor sit in the seat of the scornful, verse one, to sit in the seat to sit in a seat is a position of authority or having a position of influence. It is a level of power by position, status, recognition by power. It is a position of honor and authority. 
Scornful is exercising perversions, filthiness, and super filthiness in one's position. Sit office of leadership whilst practicing unmentionable things that takes place in the high places of position by lack of integrity, morality, and practical ethics. Verse 2. The man that walketh not after the, the ungodly advice is a man who takes pleasure on God's righteousness, his laws given by the Spirit of God, and is led by the Spirit of God, according to Romans chapter 8. What are the benefits of a man who meditates on the Lord, on the word of God, and who loves the Lord? A godly man benefits. Such a person meditates on the law continually. They consider and take notice by application of spiritual laws of God before making decisions. So before decisions are made, they consult God. They pray and say, Father, I'm going to, to make a decision in my career. I'm going to make a decision for the nation. I'm going to make a decision. And they consult the Lord of heaven before chastening after nothing for something. Verse 3. Such a man shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. So this is the key to the blessings of the Lord this morning, or being called blessed by God himself. M many would come to pick of your tree that is bearing fruit. So you, you become like a tree, or will become like a tree that bringeth forth fruit. And people will come to pick of that tree. They'll come for, for advice. They'll come for word. They'll come for blessings. Whatever you have, or whatever your tree is bearing, that is what people will eat of that fruit. You will bring forth fruit in due season. Hold on. And you will be able to hold on to the tree that is growing and bearing fruit. So let us bear fruit unto the Lord, fruits of righteousness, peace, and joy. Such a person leaves shall not wither. What God is saying, a person that is called godly, they will be blessed. They, they'll be like a tree that is sustained by water. Yeah. And whatever the word of God is saying in verse 3, whatsoever the godly man does, it shall prosper. Whatsoever you do as a godly man or woman of God, it shall prosper. You shall have sustainability, and you will sustain others. Verse 4, the ungodly are not so, but the, the ungodly are like a shaft, um, a shift or shaft, wood, which the wind driveth away. Amen. Shaft meaning the husk of a corn or other seeds or worthless things or rubbish. What will happen to the ungodly in the end? Verse 5. Let us examine the scripture again. Verse 5 says, Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Meaning there would be a separation someday. When, when it comes to judgment, the just shall be judged separately from the ungodly, the judges. Now... Would sinners be counted, nor would sinners be counted with the righteous. A separation will take place on the day of judgment. It is appointed unto man once to die, and after death is judgment. Hebrews 9, 27. For the Lord knoweth the ways of the righteous. God knows the righteous ways this morning. But the way of the ungodly shall perish. God already know his own his own delight in his word, not in the counsel of ungodly men. But the counsel of God, men who delight in the law of the Lord and studies this law daily for sustenance of his spirit. For God, for God maintains this type of individuals or people who love God and who are called by God godly because they consider the things of God. They are maintained and the performance of the things of God by the Spirit. So they are always maintained. Godly men and women are maintained and maintained the things of God. Your, so we thank God this morning for the hearing, the reading, the listening, and the understanding of his word. Mm -hmm. And we're going to open the line shortly. And I'll give you the numbers. We're going to open the line, but rules of engagement you could kindly turn on your set or what your device you're using that may cause, you know, um, a feedback. 
and we are opening the lines this morning for single parents. So if you are a single parent, male or female, and you're taking care of everything on your own with your children this morning, we say hats off to you, and the Lord wants to be a blessing to you this morning, and he wants us to be a blessing to you this morning as well. So we are opening the lines in a bit for single parent, be it male or female, and the Lord is saying, call and we will pray with you for your for strength and for healing of your mind, body, and soul. Right, and we know that you know God. We pray that God is going to open doors because we know that as a single parent, it is not easy because you're carrying you know the burden of two this morning. So we want to encourage those men who are single parents and you are carrying that. Your some of you comb your children here. You you pack their lunches. You prepare. You are you do all of that and still go out to work. And we want to tell you God is seeing that this morning, mm -hmm. and He's going to reward you openly by blessing you this morning and even to the females who are battling on their own without a father figure in the home this morning. We know that is not an easy journey this morning. And we want to tell you God is with you. And he's going to strengthen you this morning to continue in the good that you are doing this morning. Yeah. So we are going to open the lines in a bit. And the, the number to call, the local number, is 652 Six five two four nine zero one, and um, the international number is one seven eight six two nine two two seven eight nine, and you want to WhatsApp um, the WhatsApp number for WAC ninety point one seven six six four nine two zero, and if you want to WhatsApp us at Logo Solora Tri Ministries contact number, our number is seven six three six eight zero one. Logo Solora Tri Ministries contact WhatsApp seven six three six eight zero one. Thank you for calling, and we will have the lines open. But before we open the line, we're just gonna sing. We're just gonna ask um, Foxy to play the song for us. He is the rock. Not the, the rock, sorry. He is the song this morning is um, Jesus will provide. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Glory to his name. Jesus will provide. He made the blessings of me. Jesus will provide. Possession in the country. Jesus will provide. So the people who had me now are real. Jesus will always provide for me. Jesus will provide. And Jesus will provide. I'm the power of the empty. Jesus will provide. Jesus will provide. I say, Jesus will provide. I'm the cupboard and empty. Jesus will provide. Get that and kiss and pray, love. Keep on putting bread on my table. And he's our provider. Jesus Christ always got me. And he's my chief baker. Sand bread basket and just run over. So this is over, 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 over. Lord, we are providing this morning. He's going to provide this morning. Whatever you need this morning. He is your provider this morning. Our provider. Hallelujah. We speak to that need this morning. We speak to your need this morning. Hallelujah. You just voice it to the Lord. He's going to hear you from your heart. And he's going to make a way this morning where there seemed to be no way. He's going to overflow. Just believe him this morning. He's our provider. No matter what, he will provide. Just bless his name. He's our provider. 
Jesus will make a way this morning where there's none. There seems to be none. He's going to make that way for you. Bless the Lord. So we're going to open the lines this morning. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So who's the single parent who's going to call? The first three, we have something for you. Good morning, caller. Yes, uh, these uh, passages you are sending out this morning, it comes as if you're talking to me, you know? Okay. And uh, uh, I want to thank you for your prayers. I'd like you to say a prayer for me. Mm -hmm. you, you hear me? I'm, I'm hearing you, sir. Good morning. We're hearing you. Uh, I'm, I'm going on a surgery on the 2nd uh, of April with my eyes. All right. I did the first one. I, I seen good. And... Uh, I'm going to do the second one. I do Saturday morning. Okay. And this this passage you 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 reading this morning. I just you was talking to me direct this morning. I'm the Calypsonian Barango, and uh, I never had a sister, but I have one daughter in California, mm -hmm. and uh, I have uh, many friends out there, you know, mm -hmm. that love me, and some who don't, like, who don't like me at all, but I like to feel I'm um, one of the rivers, mm -hmm. as one of the uh, plants that plant by the rivers of water, mm -hmm. um, I guess. Right, we will pray for you. I, uh, I was 85 years. Oh, bless the Lord. And wish me happy birthday. Happy birthday. Amen to you. Morning, God bless you. Can, you can, right. can you give us back your name, please? Give us your name, please. Durango. All right, thank you. I call to tell you this morning. All right, we're gonna we're gonna lift you up in prayer in a bit. Right, thank you for calling and you continue to listen. And God bless you. We we will lift you up in prayer in a bit. Thank you again for calling and God bless you. Bless the Lord. Okay, this morning again we thank God for the hearing and the understanding of His Word. Bless the Lord. And we have the lines open this morning. We look, we're calling you know, single parent this morning. You're carrying the blessing. I'm not going to call it a burden. You're carrying the blessing on your own this morning. And with the help of God, and we want you to call this morning. Who will be the first parent, single parent to call in this morning? The number is 652-4901. The WhatsApp number for WAC. 90.1 is 7664920. And you can call on the international number 17862922789. Who will be that single parent that will call in this morning? Bless the Lord. So we'll, while we're waiting on that caller, we'll pray for the caller that keep calling just, just now. You want to pray for his eyes and the surgery? Amen. And, and um, can we just pray? Bless the Lord. I want everyone to know that um, God does always heal. And there is no sickness or no disease, no infirmity that God cannot heal. Because healing is the children's bread. And those that are listening to me, those that have eye problems also, because the eye is the window for the soul, and the eye also is the window for the body. And sometimes the devil might try to shut it, shut our eyes that we do not see physically, that is what we call blindness. And sometimes he shut up our heart that way we cannot see spiritually, 
that we call spiritual blindness. But this morning, we're going to declare war against the kingdom of darkness. And let us know, and let us come to the experience that God always out there to heal each and every one of us. And our brother that called for the eye that you're going to take us. So we're going to pray that God restore back your eyesight. Not only you, but those that are blind out there. Let us agree that God restore back eyesight. Mm -hmm. Father, there's nothing too hard or too difficult for you. You said, God, if we have faith, oh Lord, and oh Lord, we come to you with faith this morning, yes, Lord. Father, that we know, and we know, and we know, Father, that you, oh God, is seeking, oh God, each and every one you are knocking to the hearts and yes, to Lord. the doors, oh God, of your people. And Father, even those that open up unto you, said that you're going to come in and you're going to suck with them. Yes, Lord. And even so, I lift my brothers. Yes, Lord. And other brothers, oh God, true unto God, this nation, Father. Yes, Lord. Those that are blind, oh God, spiritually and physically, I pray in the name of Jesus that, oh God, the blindness, oh God, be destroyed right now. Yes, Lord. Every demonic, oh God, Hallelujah. every physical, oh God, disease every that may cause blindness, Father every God, root. every strong oath that the enemy may come in a form, Father, to bring blindness, oh God, to your people. I pray right now, oh God, that every eye will be restored yes, this morning, oh God, from that sickness, oh God, Hallelujah. from, oh God, that plague, oh God, the enemy plague right upon your children. I come against every demon Hallelujah. that sits on the eye, Father, that cause blindness, oh God. I come against every demon that been sent by someone, oh God, to cause blindness, Father. I come against, oh God, every plot and every plan, oh God, the enemy set up to cause blindness, oh God, upon your children. Hallelujah. And I cut every cause right now in Jesus' name. Yes, and I pray, God, for the restoring of I, Father, upon those that have cataract, Father, yes, those that go into yes, surgery, yes, those Lord. that have eye of God, disease, oh Lord, I Rebels. Every demonic in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Oh, and I pray, help. Lord, God, for Lord. strength. strength I pray, God, for clear vision, oh Lord. Vision, I pray, God, for empty eyes, oh yes, God, Lord. in this nation. Yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus. Yes. That the kingdom of darkness, oh God, shall not continue, Amen. God, to establish, oh God, places, oh God, for blind people. But, oh God, I uproot, oh God, Every assignment yes, from the roots. Yes, every Lord. assignment to Lord yes, that the enemy of God is carrying out in this nation alone that you God did not establish, Father. And I pray right now, let your healing, let your healing of God come upon those that are blind, that they will see the manifold presence of God and the manifold manifestation of your power. That you are waiting on God for men to call unto you, that you will say, Here you are, and you are going to answer them. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, and we thank you for those, oh Lord, that restore, oh God. Yes, Lord. Those, oh Lord, you have restored eyesight back to them, yes, Father. Lord. Thank you, and Father. And we thank you in the name of Faith. Jesus, Father. We thank you. Bless the Lord. Glory be to your name, Father. Bless the Lord. And yes, we Lord, are going Jesus. to pray in accordance to what God has asked us to pray for. Yes, to Lord. pray for single parent, maybe it male or female, and pray for strength, the healing of the mind, body, yes, soul, Lord. and spirit, and for God to open doors of opportunity and for expansion. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we lift, O oh God, your divine order in the earth realm, in the name of Jesus. Father, we cause, the Lord God, a breakthrough in the name of the Lord. You said, ask and it shall be given, seek and we shall find. Father, today we lift every single parent in Trinidad and Tobago, the Caribbean and the uttermost parts of the earth. Father, Lord, we lift them before 
before you, oh God, and we commit every single parent into your hand. Yes, Father, we pray for strength this morning, God, Lord, and in Increase in their faith yes, and Lord. favor with God and favor with man and that they will go in stature in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Father, Lord. where strength fail at this morning, we ask you to touch every single parent this morning yes, and Lord. intervene, oh God, in every aspect of their walk in life. Father, we pray, oh God, that if Lord Jesus, they had to do things that they did not want to do, or maybe Lord, take up a, a job that they didn't want to, but because the food has to be provided and shelter, oh God, they sacrifice, and maybe because of that Lord, they were scoffed at, and maybe they were looked down on, and maybe oh God, people spoke negative of such a person, and Father, they have been carrying it, but in spite of, they have to feed their family, and Father, we yeah. come against judgmental spirits against single parents, Lord, that will judge them and say they are single because of X, Y, or Z. Father, Lord, you are the judge of all this morning. And Father, Lord, we break a generational curse of of Lord poverty yes, that Lord. want to enter into single parents home and life in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father, Lord. we break oh God, Lord, generational pattern, Lord, yes, where there's always a breakup, where there's always, Lord, Father, someone dying, Lord, before time untimely death. Father, yes, as Lord. spoken by Solomon, untimely birth and untimely death. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you break generational curses, bondage, Lord, Father, yes, set Lord. up in single parent home and yes, family Lord. life. Lord, loose, oh God, doors and open doors of opportunity for their yes, children, Lord. Lord, to be educated and Father, to go to the best, Lord, schools, the best universities, Lord, yes, and Lord. to have, Lord, divine favor and open doors this morning. Father, those that have been out of job, but they are single, that they have no work. And yes, Father, Lord. Lord Jesus, they just live from day to day in hope. I ask, oh God, that you close every demonic structure that is blocking the answer and that is blocking them wherever they go is always a no and they cannot get through. We pray God that they're going to get through. You're going to open the doors wide. Father, we say kick the doors open by your yes, angels Lord. this morning and Lord, remove every structure that is blocking them. Lord, even as they are single, oh God, and they hope to get married and Father, oh God, every time that they seek to get a partner, Lord, they were taken yes, advantage Lord. of because it's the same spirit that they encounter. I break that yes, demonic Lord. spirit, Lord, that is familiar. Every yes, familiar Lord. spirit that when they try to get into a relationship, it is, Lord, it is the same repeated cycle. Yes, and Lord. Father, they have been, mouth have been speaking evil of them, Father, but they do not know what they go through, and they do not know what they have to do, Father, for those, oh God, Father, forgive us, yes, Father Lord. Lord, that think we have it all, and Father, we, it is easy to not put ourselves in someone's position, but to just speak evil of men, Father, we say, move every evil word spoken against single parent and single parenting in the mighty yes, name of Jesus. Father, every child, Lord, we ask you to feed that mother that may see that child crying, or that father that have to wake up and the pot is empty and the cupboard is empty. We saying to you this morning, Jesus will provide this morning yes, your every need. And Father, we say thank you. They are single parents who want a job. They want a, a better job for an increased income to take care of the Lord. household needs because what is coming in is barely making it. We are saying this morning we break that curse of poverty yes, over Lord. your finances. We break every... Lord, and sometimes people's finances are locked up because of what people are speaking into their life, yes, what Lord. they are saying. Who are you taking counsel from this morning? The Lord is saying do not take counsel from the ungodly. They will tell you to do all kinds of things that is not of God. They will say, come here, let me call you here, and this person will help you, and you just have to give them some oil, and you give them something, and they're going to fix you up. And you realize you've been doing that for years, but you're still in the same situation, but you're still going that road. God is saying, turn back, turn back, turn back, yes, turn back, do not go. He said, is there not a God? Is there not a God in heaven? Is there not a God in Israel? Is there not a God that you could call on your God, the only true and living God? Why go to men to beg? Why go to men to do things that they encourage you to do? And you have to still take money that you don't have. So you have to borrow the money to go and, 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 and get help. They say this morning, Jesus will provide. Amen. Call upon him this morning. The lines are open this morning to you, single parent, be it male or female this morning. We are calling 
is the number to call is 6524901. The WhatsApp number for WAC is 7664920. And Tri Ministries, you can WhatsApp us a message. It is 7636801 this morning. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord as we continue yes, to pray. We continue to pray this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory Thank you. Name, Bless the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name this morning. We praise you. We praise you. Um, you can play the sinner's prayer for us. Right. Revelation. Yes, thank you. Yes. And this morning we open for you to be to, in your personal corner, your personal space this morning. You could call upon the Lord this morning if you need, Lord, to be, to be one of what God has called in Psalm 1, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, but you consult God in everything, in all your ways. You acknowledge God, and he will direct your path this morning. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Glory Hallelujah. To Father. Bless God. Bless you. Bless you. Bless God. Bless the Lord this morning. Revelation 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Yes, Lord. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Amen. Would you like to respond to the knocking of God on the doors of your heart? Then let us pray. Heavenly Father, I say your name, humbly come to you today, asking for forgiveness for all of my sins, iniquities, trespasses, and transgression. Come into my heart, cleanse me, and make me your child today. I accept your forgiveness in Jesus name amen amen bless the Lord while we are waiting that caller giving you the opportunity to still call in to the radio station single parent and the number to call is 6524901 or 1786292279 bless the Lord and we're just going to share with you a bit about the awakening. The awakening is what we are hosting uh, as a virtual presentation that will take place on May the 30th, 2022, the month of May. And it's going to be right here streaming from WAC 90.1 FM. Amen. And the awakening is preparation of the heart of man before the coming of the Lord. It's going to be a presentation that is going to show the depicting the... the the coming of the Lord is near, and the team, behold, the bridegroom cometh. And we want to say that the awakening is, you know, um, being alert to everything that is taking place around us and watching and praying and making sure that whenever God comes or whenever he calls us home, be it by death or be it by his triumphant return, that either way we are prepared to meet him because everyone, great or small, whether we believe him or not, serve him or not, he is the one that we're going to be facing after that. And as the scripture read this morning, Hebrews 9, 27, it is appointed unto man once to die, and after that is judgment. And we would like to go to God and hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Amen. And I want to say that we are placed here on the earth for a purpose, for a time and a season, and for a reason. And everyone have purpose this morning. Everyone have a call and, and something to do for God. And that is, you know, we have a call... Okay, bless the name of the Lord. Okay, so this morning, um, we're still waiting on that caller. You can call in before we come off air this morning. You still have that opportunity. Blessed be the name of the Lord this morning. So the number to call is 6524901. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
And Father Lord, we continue to declare your blessings and your breakthrough upon every single parent this morning. We thank you for divine healing and divine deliverance in the mind, loose mind, body, soul, and spirit. So Lord, you're taking care of the whole man this morning and we give thanks and we give praise this morning for this is the will of God that you give thanks and praise this morning. Amen.